Okay, Jeff's up. He says, Bradley, I know you talked about using press releases in the recent past. I purchased a 10 pack from Peter. Okay. Um, and plan on doing a PR blitz at the end of the year. Is there any information you can share with regards to how much time between releases, links you tend to include, etc.? Hopefully this doesn't infringe on shared mastermind members because unfortunately I'm not one. I know I should be. Yeah, Jeff, um, I can go over it on very high level conceptual stuff now. Um, very high level because I, you know, that is right now currently mastermind stuff. However, keep this in mind. I am doing a, um, some content that will be available, uh, that we're probably going to make, we're going to make, uh, some publicly available information about the press release stacking method. And then there will be like an upgrade for the actual full training, but it, you know, so it's kind of like what our battle plan is. Uh, and then there's, you know, obviously going to be an upgrade and that's uh, going to be something that we're going to be releasing in the next, I'd say six weeks or so, six to eight weeks. So, but I can talk about it very briefly on the top. As far as the PR um, frequency of publishing, I do it about once every two weeks. That's how I get started with sites because a lot of the times you only need about four or five of them to get significant results. In fact, I've got several properties or lead gen sites that I've been able to pop into the three pack, the maps three pack with just three press releases, which is insane. But um, for ones that are a little bit more competitive, it might take four or five. And so I like to spread them out about every two weeks. I know Rob, who's on with us right now, he he just he hammers them. He does one right after another after another. I typically try to wait about two weeks per. Um, but Rob, comment on why you just hammer them. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Rob. I was muted. Um, yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, sorry, I was muted there. Yeah, I, I'll hammer them, as Bradley's saying, and I'll mix up the link. So I'm hitting you know, not only, you know, kind of the site, uh, but I'm hitting some of the other, um, I don't have much detail to go into, but other properties, so to speak. So you can actually hit some of your web twos, YouTube, things like that to spread it out. And then, I mean, you're filtering it through um, on some of them, you filter it through those other properties so it, it can stand the abuse. And, um, you know, yep. as, as you said before, I'm kind of impatient. So <laughs> some of them I'll hit now, you know, I don't hit stuff if I'm really, you know, trying to go slow with some things, but on just my own assets that I, uh, own for like lead gen, and I'm, you know, a little more, uh, not nervous to lose. Yeah. I'll hit right. them. Right. And so and stack them and all that. And so, yeah, as far as like, you know, for me, I, I, I tend to do it about once every two weeks, but like Rob said, you know, the first press release, I always hit the money site. Um, and then the Google maps URL. Right. So you go grab the share URL. I'll always hit that first. And then I will do a lot of stacking and I, I'm not going to get into the details on this. But what I do is then I chain press releases together to where press release number two links to press release number one, as well as another um, either an inner page on the site or uh, an, a, like a review URL from Google Maps or maybe a Yelp page or Facebook or s something from the tier one network, the branded network or a citation or something like that, then press release three links to press release two, as well as other properties or maybe another inner page URL, that kind of stuff. So essentially I just try to mix it up to where you're not creating a pattern, but you just are hitting, you're constantly hitting different tier one branded properties and then also linking from one press release to another. And for me, that's worked really, really well. And I've tested all different types of configurations and it really, it, it, it doesn't seem to have any one particular configuration better than another. They just seem to work well together. What I do recommend is that you use, um, uh, Jeff, that you try to use, add some diversity to your press release distribution services, though. Don't just ha hammer it with one service. Try to use, like inside a SERP space, for example, we've got two different services. So, and, and that's for, specifically for that reason, because I use multiple press release distribution services. And so two, the two of, of the several that I use are inside a service space as well. If that makes sense. Okay. The reason why is you just want, you want diversity in your backlink profiles. You don't want to just keep hammering the same asset over and over again with the same distribution network. I mean, if that's all you got, it's probably still better than nothing, but I would recommend that you diversify a bit if possible. Right. Good question though, Jeff.